Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Final Score. All the goals as they go in across crucial matches in the Premier League and the EFL. Today, as we reach the critical part of the season, Glenn Murray and Farrell Williams are feeling the tension. Will Perry is across the ups and downs in the EFL today. Let's start at the bottom of the Premier League, shall we? And a vital one at Kenilworth Road, Luton Town against Brentford, Mark Scott. Luton nil, Brentford four, and it could easily have been more for the Bees as well, who have run riot today without Ivan Tony in their squad with Wissa and Bumo and Lewis Potter, all electric. A wonderful whipped Wissa finish from the edge of the box, made it 1-0. A bundled close-range effort from him put them two up on the stroke of half-time. Pinnock's thumping header from Regidon's corner put the game beyond doubt. And then Mbumo, the provider, again, a lovely lofted ball across the six-yard box. And Lewis Potter from point-blank range made it four. The Olays ringing out from the away fans. The big question is, how is Rob Edwards going to pick up Luton after this battering on home turf? Luton nil, Brentford four. So Brentford score four as the Burnley now, Premji. Absolutely, Sheffield United one, Burnley four, and Burnley here are running right as well. They could get a fifth as the ball's played forward again. Uh, it was Jakob Brun Larsen and Lorenzo Sinion who had two quick goals in the first period. Uh, then we had uh, Gustavo Harmer's really lovely finish for United to make it 2-1, but then Lyle Foster and off the bench just a few moments ago, Johan Berg Goodmanson, uh, right side, left foot, curling shot to make it Sheffield United one, Burnley four. Uh, well, let's first of all start talking about Brentford because, Glenn, they've been magnificent this afternoon. They have, just the way they've approached the game. They've looked a class above Luton in all honesty. Luton wanting to make it a fight at Kenilworth Road, everything we're building to be, but just the way they've approached the game, they've been absolutely superb. Uh, Ken Lewis Potter's had a number of chances. Uh, Buemo hit the bar. Wissa's got a couple of goals. Pinnock back at the centre at the centre of defence made a huge difference both for that stability and then he gets himself on the score sheet. Four 0 They've absolutely blown Luton away on what was a huge afternoon for Luton, and I feel as though that Brentford's safe in the Premier League for another year. Yeah, and a big one for Burnley as well. Is there hope, Farah? Well, if you look at the Premier League table, uh, table it suggests that you know they're only three Ooh. points behind Nottingham Forest. That's it, just outside of the drop so there's big hope it's been a, a really good performance from Burnley I mean for Sheffield United fans they'd be disappointed they started the game really well had some big chances didn't take them allowed Burnley back in the game and, and Burnley have taken advantage uh, since that opening goal uh, and they've just hit the post as well the, yeah they've been the better of the two certainly in attack although the chances have been even as I said Burnley have been uh, more clinical in front of goal and this would put them three points from safety wouldn't it everyone seems to have written they them off do it, but all no. of a sudden yeah they could they definitely yeah. could do it yeah OK, thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Farrah. In the Championship, Leicester City beat West Bromwich Albion at lunchtime to go top and two points clear off Ipswich Town in the three o'clock game. Southampton are at Cardiff City. This is proving much more difficult for Russell Martin than he thought, Laura Kenyon. Absolutely. Cardiff won, Southampton won. The visitors desperate for a result to keep them in the hunt for automatic promotion. Open the scoring through Joe Aribo, followed by a heap of chances to go further ahead, not taken and punished with a Cardiff e equaliser from Famara Jeju to the utter joy of the home crowd Russell Martin former Swansea a pantomime villain in these parts he's got tactical decisions to make in the closing stages here it's 1-1 Thank you very much indeed, Laura. Let's go to Carol Oatmark Weber. Norwich won, Bristol City won, Bristol City with nothing to play for, to be honest with you, but no beach football on display here. They've been frustrating a Norwich side who are looking to leap from West Brom in the playoffs tables tonight. It took the second half for someone to score. It was Hayden Roberts, grass cutter, which found the net for Bristol City. Norwich quick to equalise, though. Their dream team of Saints and Sargent teaming up to get that equaliser. There's been chances both ends since. It could change. It's one. One. Let's go to the bottom of the table. This is not looking good for Huddersfield Town, Norm McCorn. It's really not as they trail Swansea by a goal to nil. Huddersfield have just under two and a quarter games to preserve their championship status now in the relegation zone before kickoff and staying there as things stands with the score one nil to Swansea. Substitute Jamal Lowe with a tidy finish for the Swans and that will really irritate a Huddersfield side who have missed two mighty opportunities in this second half. Bergsorg and Karoma wasting chances that will stick on the mind of every terrorist 
Harriers fan, no doubt. Huddersfield nil, Swansea won. Birmingham City just outside the bottom three, Chris Cole. And they're drawing away at Rotherham, nil nil. We're at half time. This game suspended for around 35 minutes in the first half to deal with a medical emergency in the crowd. What we have seen has been good to watch for its effort and endeavour, especially for Rotherham under the returning Steve Evans. Hugh Gill and Nombe headers weren't too far away. One or two bright moments for the visitors. Nothing overly threatening. They need much more. They really need a win to ease their relegation concerns. Rotherham nil, Birmingham nil. Some performances by Stoke City, John Akers. Yes, and if things stay like this, Jason and Huddersfield continue to trail. They will be pretty much safe on goal difference. It's seven better than Huddersfield. They were excellent at the end of the first half, especially when they scored their two goals. So Stephen Schumacher against his former club. He's currently got one over his old PE teacher, Neil Juicenip. Stoke 2, Plymouth nil. And let's go into League One. Our Derby County inching closer to promotion, Charlie Slater. They are, but as things stand because of results elsewhere, they're not going to seal promotion today. It's Cambridge nil, Derby one. That goal coming seven minutes before the break towards the end of the first half from Mendes Lang. Derby being on top through the first half, Cambridge being on top through the second half as a ball is cleared away from the edge of the Cambridge penalty area by Zeno Rossi. As it stands, Derby would only need a point at home next week to already relegate to Carlisle to seal promotion back to the championship. Cambridge nil, Derby 2. Here comes Sibley, tries to get a second save by the keeper. I have a feeling we'll be saying as it stands quite a bit between now and a quarter past five. As it stands, Adam Cotier, Paul Vale going down. They are because they are trailing here at Bolton by one goal to nil. The goal in this second half from Bolton's Aaron Collins. One touch to set himself in the penalty area and his fierce right foot shot went careering into the top corner. Before that, Port Vale had put up a stubborn resistance. Bolton had hit the woodwork three times, but because of score lines elsewhere, Port Vale's two-year stay in League One is coming to an end this afternoon as it stands. It's Bolton 1. Port Vale nil. As it stands, Chris, why is Sutton United not going down? No, by the skin of their teeth, they're still in with a chance of survival. 1-1 one, one with Crawley. They've shown great fight to come back from the lead goal that Liam Kelly scored just before half-time. Charlie Lake in great deal of fortune about the equaliser. Sutton won't mind too much about that. They began the day four points from safety, but really, they have to win this game. Sutton won, Crawley won. Huge goal at the bottom of League 2 for Grimsby Town. Ben Crutcher. And it is a goal that looks like it will keep it Grimsby in League 2 next season. They've taken the lead. Liam Smith, who's first goal of the season, released through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. A powerful right-footed shot across him and into the back of the net. They only needed a point. It looks like they're taking all three. Grimsby won, Swindon nil. The busiest man in live television is here, Will Perry. Oh, I thought you were going to say Glenn Murray. I've got a few as it <laughs> No chance. For you. Derby, by the way, as it stands, will have to wait, as we just heard, to secure automatic promotion to the Championship. They've been two years in League One. They lead 1-0, as you've been hearing at Cambridge, thanks to Nathaniel Mendes-Lang. But they need to win and hope that Bolton and Peterborough don't. However, Peterborough are ahead of Bristol Rovers. Bolton 1-0 up against Port Vale. Aaron Collins has just scored for them. Port Vale, though, heading towards League Two. They need to win to keep their survival hopes alive this afternoon. So it's going to the final day for the automatics. And as you just heard there, Derby would need just a point next week to secure promotion. Would be a huge uh, win for Blackpool, who are on the cusp of the playoffs. They're now uh, two points behind Barnsley in fifth, 3-1 they lead at Bloomfield Road. That's a cracker of a game. Uh, look at the League One bottom of the table. Fleetwood on the verge of being relegated. 0-0 at Leighton Orient, the score there. The team just above Fleetwood and Port Vale. Cheltenham had the lead this afternoon at Lincoln. who've come from behind to boost their playoff hopes. Going Burton's way as well. 3-2, they lead Reading to move them four points clear of trouble as things stand. Let's take you into the League Two fixtures. Sutton heading to the National League. 1-1 in their game at home to playoff chasing Crawley. They're staying up, but look, mathematically, they're not. They're, because Colchester 1-0 down at Notts County. That's the reason they're staying up as it stands. Colchester's goal difference much better uh, than Sutton, so it's just a matter of time. Grimsby have taken the lead at Swindon, only needing one point for safety going to that fixture. It's uh, looking hugely likely that they may take all three. There are no hangovers from the League Two champions, Stockport, who were 3-1 up at home to Accrington. Carl Wooden's on a hat-trick in that game. And a really exciting match at Walsall as well. Bradford are 3-2 up both sides, still fighting for their chance of making the playoffs. And it'll be all about the playoffs next week, Jason. Yep, absolutely right. Thank you, Will. The first FA Cup semi-final, Manchester City against Chelsea, gets underway shortly. It's live on BBC One and the iPlayer from quarter to five. Kelly Summers has the team news. 
last a game in prospect here, Jason, almost three days on from their Champions League exit to Real Madrid. Manchester City turned their attention to the FA Cup, one of two trophies they could still get their hands on this season. I've just been down the tunnel. I've spoken to Pep Guardiola. He says he wants nothing different from that defeat to Real Madrid, apart from, of course, the outcome. But the big news here is they're going to have to do it today without Erling Haaland. He isn't even in the Manchester City squad due to injury. Kevin De Bruyne, though, despite coming off early, is fit to start. Now, Holland is one of four changes that Guardiola has made. Alvarez comes in in his place. There is also a changing goal. Ortega comes in for Edison, as he often does in the cup competitions. John Stones and Nathan, a Nathan Ake even also return from injury in place of Guardiol and Diaz. As for Chelsea, they're on their best unbeaten run since October 2022. So no reason for them to make wholesale changes. Just the one. Enzo Fernandez returns from injury. He takes the place of Mikhailo Mudrik. This game is set to be a cracker. We are live on the iPlayer and BBC One from 4.45. We're looking forward to it. Kelly, thank you very much indeed. What a big day this is for Sutton United, Chris Wise. The great escape, maybe. They've turned it around. They're leading Crawley by two goals to one. They were trying to play out the visitors. They got caught. And Oli Sanderson, who had a couple of chances in the first half, very calmly slotted it into the corner to wild celebrations. They've got a big chance of staying up now. Sutton 2, Crawley 1. Thank you, Chris. Before we go back around the grounds, just got time to have a chat about Manchester City against Chelsea. Fancy Chelsea tonight? I think, uh, I think they've got a chance. I think if you look at the both uh, league fixtures, the 4-4, and then uh, a couple of them, 1-1 away, away from home. Um, I think if you look at those two, I think Chelsea were really competitive in both of those fixtures. Obviously, back of a big win against Everton, and obviously with Manchester City going out of the Champions League, they might you know, have the upper hand in terms of the, the confidence this week. So we, we will see, but Manchester City, when they go to Wembley, rarely lose. It'll be some week for world football, some week for Manchester City if Chelsea not come out today. It'll be a devastating week, I think. Uh, I mean, there'll be a lot of tiredness to contest with. Uh, they push really hard against Real Madrid right into extra time. It's, uh, it's how quickly they can bounce back. But Pep Guardiola will be expecting a reaction without doubt. And I'm sure he's got his eye on one man on the other side. And that'll be a young man that he coached, Cole Palmer. Yep, absolutely. Right, back around the grounds. Let's start at Luton Town, Brentford. Mark Scott. And again, it is Brentford who have been pouring forwards. It's 4 0 to Brentford. It could easily have been 7 or 8. Kaminsky's made a smart save just now to keep out Wissa. Brian and Bumo had a shot at goal that he did well to get down to as well. And Ayers had a clawed away as well by the Hatters goalkeeper. One way traffic. How damaging is this going to be for morale as well as in terms of the table for Luton Town? They trail 4 0. Big goal in the Championship at the John Smith Stadium. Another court. Massive goal, and it's gone the way of Swansea City. Ronaldo's just poked in from a couple of yards out. A devastating counter-attack, and a vacuum has been applied to the stands. The Huddersfield fans have seen enough. They're starting to leave. It means that they remain in the championship relegation zone as things stand. They've missed some massive chances in this game today, Jason. They also wrapped the post before Swansea scored their second, but it looks like it's going to be a bridge too far for them to get any points today. Huddersfield nil, Swansea 2. Let me just remind you how that bottom three is looking Rotherham United already relegated. Sheffield Wednesday on 44 points and Huddersfield Town 44 as well. And then it's Birmingham City on 46. Not a good afternoon for Huddersfield Town. Let's go back to the Premier League. That's Benji. Not a good afternoon for Sheffield United. Sheffield United 1, Burnley 4. And uh, Mark mentioned one-way traffic. It's one-way traffic here. And uh, for the fans, it's a one-way ticket out of the ground because the cop is emptying and pretty much most of the Sheffield United fans are departing because they have been awful this afternoon. Every time Burnley go forward now, you expect them to get a fifth or a sixth. There's another chance here as Datra, Fafana and Brownhill are there. Sheffield United 1, Burnley 4. Back to the Championship to the Cardiff City Stadium. Laura Kenyon. Where it's Cardiff 1, Southampton 1. Cardiff asking a load of attacking questions. A team full of youngsters thanks to a huge list of injuries and they're making a big impression here against promotion chasing Southampton. Four points off top two as things stand with not long left to play here. Russell Martin's been barking orders in his technical area. It's 1-1. One, one. How long left to Carrow Road? Mark Webber. We got two minutes left on the clock. It's still 1-1 here. Norwich looking for the ninth win at home on the trot here today. Jonathan Rowe just came close, put the ball right across the goal mouth, but he didn't get it in. 1-1 one, one to uh, one, one at the moment between Norwich and Bristol City. And let's go to the bet 365. John Akers. Stoke City 2, Plymouth Argyle nil a scoreline which would see Stoke City to 50 points and all but you would think guarantee their safety in the championship. Argyle are trying to 
a little fight back at the moment, but they haven't really had many chances. Stoke nil, Plymouth nil. So the stadium of light, Andy Sixsmith. Lead for Millwall in their search for championship safety. Jay Sunderland nil, Millwall one. Only goal of a terrible game coming about 15 minutes ago when Ryan Longman's cross asked for a great finish and it got it from some former Sunderland man Duncan Watmore prodding into the roof of the net. Sunderland still searching for their first home win since February, but Millwall will be mathematically saved tonight if things stay the same. Jace, get me in that away and they're having a party nil one. Uh, Hull City are six points behind Norwich City in that race for the top six, Mike Williams. They almost took the lead here. Fabio Carvalho with a brilliant free kick on the edge of the D, just poured away by Backman, resulted in the corner, which has come to nothing. But Hull are knocking on the door, remember, with Norwich only drawing at the moment with Bristol City. That means if Hull can grab a win here, they will close the gap on sixth place and keep their playoff hopes alive. But it's still nil-nil. Derby County moving closer to promotion to the championship. Charlie Slater. Yes, they've got a toe in the championship as it stands a big toe but a toe nonetheless they're leading at Cambridge by one goal to nil but because of the scores elsewhere involving Bolton and Peterborough who are also winning by one goal to nil that currently means that Derby can't be promoted today but they only need a point at home to Carlisle next weekend so the door to promotion to the championship is starting to open a little wider for Paul Warren it would be his fourth promotion out of this division Cambridge nil, Derby 1, 88 on the clock. Charlie beautifully setting up Adam Cotier, Bolton Wanderers. Bolton leading Port Vale here by one goal to nil, but it's a very slender lead. Port Vale very close to scoring themselves as they look to save themselves from relegation this afternoon. Tom Sang and Nathan Smith both producing fine stops from the Bolton goalkeeper, Nathan Baxter. Bolton's goal was a really smart one taken by Aaron Collins. He's been taken off. I think most people around here are resigned for, to the playoffs, but Bolton keeping their automatic hopes, their slim ones, alive here with a 1-0 lead against Port Vale. And to the bottom of League One, Rich Wolfenden. Yeah, there's about three minutes to go here, and Fleetwood Town look like they are destined for League Two, although they have an opportunity on the edge of the penalty area here, which the home side are able to deal with. Brian Broom had a great volley saved, but unfortunately for Fleetwood, it looks like it's not going to be enough. Nil-nil. And to Cheltenham Town, Lincoln City, Nikesh Ragani. Where it's still Cheltenham 1, Lincoln 2. Lincoln coming from behind in this second half to keep their playoff hopes alive. As things stand, though, for Cheltenham down at the bottom of the table, things are no longer going to be in their hands in terms of survival in League 1 if they go on and uh, lose this match here. There's about a couple of minutes left in normal time. Cheltenham have been trying to push forward for this equaliser, but real lack of quality in the final third. And Lincoln still still looking dangerous in front of goal themselves. It's Cheltenham 1, Lincoln 2. So as we heard, Sutton United are leading, putting a little pressure on Colchester United, Alice the Omens. They are. Notts County 1, Colchester 0. Notts County have been far the better side in the second half. Macaulay Langstaff's goal after 55 minutes. And it's looking, Jason, as though the game in hand that Colchester have at home to Doncaster on Tuesday could be crucial. Goal of Blundell Park, Ben Croucher. A huge goal, Grimsby are staying up, Jason. Grimsby 2, Swindon nil. What a strike to skewer their survivors. Well, Donovan Wilson's left-footed effort from 25 yards into the bottom corner. Get the party started. Grimsby 2, Swindon nil. Goal in the championship at Huddersfield Town, Swansea City, Norma Vaughan. Huddersfield nil, Swansea 3, Jerry Yates with it, game over, and is Huddersfield stay in the championship over imminently as well? Only two games to play after this, and they've got Birmingham City next week here at the John Smith. That could be absolutely huge. There are nine minutes of added time to play. Goal difference is a big factor at the bottom. Huddersfield need to make sure they don't ship any more. Huddersfield nil, Swansea 3. This is embarrassing for Luton Town. Mark Scott. It really is, Jason. There's a bit of a conference being led by Carlton Morris amongst the Luton players who are now 5-0 down at home to Brentford. And once again, it's far too easy. Brian and Bumo, no challenge came in on him on the right-hand side. He then tickled it through the centre, chasing with Vitaly Janel, and he was unselfish enough to clip it back as the keeper came out. And Kevin Sharda had an easy tap-in for his first goal since August. What a day for Brentford. What a day to forget for Luton. 5-0.
An absolute hammering. Let's go back to Will Perry. Right, let me give you the headlines because Derby County will have to wait to get a point against relegated Carlisle next week to secure automatic promotion to the Championship uh, after it looks like they're going to beat Cambridge this afternoon. But both Bolton and Peterborough picking up three points. Fleetwood and Port Vale heading towards League Two. And Blackpool, what a win this would be, on the cusp of the League One playoffs. Now just two points between them and Barnsley in fifth. 3-1 they lead at Bloomfield Road. Let me take you into League Two where uh, Sutton United, as we've been hearing, have given themselves a huge lifeline. They've turned it around from being 1-0 down to lead Crawley Town by two goals to one. The team above them, Colchester, are losing one at Lots County. So Colchester have a game in hand. They're just a point ahead of Sutton as things stand. So going to the final day, Sutton play MK Dons on that final afternoon. Grimsby, as we just heard, staying up after beating Swindon. And two goals in three minutes gives MK Dons a comfortable lead in an eight-goal thriller away at Harrogate. Harrogate 3, MK Dons 5, and that ends Harrogate's playoff hopes. But look, in League 2, you've got anyone still from Doncaster, as Alistair Yeomans just mentioned, with that game in hand. They played 44, they're on 64 points. They've just levelled, though, now against Barrow in a, a game that is all about the playoffs. Barrow in 5th, Doncaster in 10th, Gillingham has still got a chance, Walsall still got a chance, Crawley, Crew, and Barrow. We go to the final day, and Doncaster have just gone ahead, Jason, in that game against Barrow. So look, this would be nine wins on the spin. Amazing. For Grant McCann's side. 20th in March, they're heading towards the playoffs. The playoffs are in their hands. Yeah. Incredible. And they were 2-0 down. Fantastic stuff from Donny. Right, what has happened to Huddersfield Town? Now McCorn. Well, I'll tell you what's happened, Jason. They've absolutely fallen apart. It's getting embarrassing for a crestfallen Terriers side who have just conceded a fourth. And this is the best goal of the game by a country mile. Liam Walsh with acres of space, around about 30 yards out, just lifted his head and thought, I fancy that, and bent it beautifully into the top corner. It's Huddersfield nil, Swansea four. Back to Bramall Lane, that's Benji. We are into eight minutes of added on time. We've played three of them as a shot comes in from United, Sheffield United over the bar. It's Sheffield United one. Burnley 4 and most sides of Bramall Lane apart from the away end absolutely empty it's been an embarrassing performance from the Blades but this win Jason gives Burnley survival hopes a huge boost potentially Sheffield United 1 Burnley 4 we ain't got 4 minutes of adding on time to go yeah how long left at Kenilworth Road Mark Scott Thankfully, if you're a Luton Town fan, there's just one minute of normal time remaining, and I wonder if Jared Gillett might take pity on them and not add on any further stoppage time. This has been an absolute annihilation. Brentford have been wonderful, securing their safety in all but name in style. Where do Luton Town go from here? This one of their three remaining home games, and they were relying on their form at the Kenny to help keep them up. They have been battered 5-0. Brentford's best ever Premier League win. Fantastic. How long left at the Cardiff City Stadium? Laura Kenyon. Well, we've had a stoppage, Jason, with Colonel Dean Sulemana receiving treatment, so we're playing for a bit longer here where it's still Cardiff 1, Southampton 1. Nine minutes of added time. We're about four minutes into that, and Southampton with much more urgency now, searching for a winner that would put them in prime position to challenge for automatic promotion. It's really open, though, and it's 1-1. Late goal at Sutton United, Crawley Terry, League 2, Chris Wise. And a real punch in the gut for Sutton because Crawley have equalised in stoppage time. Clyde Lolos, the Greek forward, deflected as he ran into the penalty area, took it past the goalkeeper. We're in stoppage time, but it's bad news for Sutton. Sutton 2, Crawley 2. Terrible news for Steve Morrison. Goal at Lake Dorian, Fleetwood Town in League 1. Rich Wolfenden. There is, and it's come the way of Fleetwood Town. It's Xavier Simmons who scored with just a few minutes to go in this match. At the moment, they are still heading for League 2 because of the Burton result, but Brendan Moraidu Sarpong, the captain, gathered everybody in the Fleetwood side into a huddle to just have a word and maybe wrap up their season with that goal as it's 1 0 to the away side. Leg goal of Bolton Wanderers, Paul Vale, Adam Pontia. And it's a second for Bolton, the sub Cameron Jerome at the age of 37, scoring his second goal in a week. A header at the back post from a Paris Magoma left wing cross, Bolton 2. Almost relegated Port Vale nil. To the Championship, Rotherham United, Birmingham City, Chris Coles. Just 11 minutes into the second half, Rotherham nil, Birmingham nil. Birmingham have been much brighter after an insipid first half. Jay Stansfield looking threatening up front. Given the Huddersfield result, Birmingham a win, or they'd be nearly safe if they could find one, but still Rotherham nil, Birmingham nil.
into the championship, full time at Carrow Road, Mark Webber. Where it's Norwich City 1, Bristol City 1, an unbeaten home run comes to an end for Norwich, who had dropped points as they try to grow the gap in the playoffs. Bristol could have been playing beach football, but they're safe, and they knew that they could give Norwich a challenge, and they did for a while. Hayden Roberts opened the scoring in the second half, and then with a low drive, and then Borgia Sainz offered an instant response for Norwich to tap in and make it Norwich City 1, Bristol City 1. Late goal of the Connor City Stadium, Lord Kenyon. Wow, Cardiff 2, Southampton 1, and how big could that goal prove in Southampton's bid for Premier League football next season? Kean Ashworth, on his first championship start, struck it, took a huge deflection, his heartbreak for Southampton, faltering here in the race for automatic promotion, not long left, Cardiff 2, Southampton 1. Oh, don't you love football, eh? <laughs> don't you love football? you got to love it, you got to love it. Uh, let's go to Mark Scott. <laughs> Luke Perry, I don't think is necessarily loving it here, but he has got a consolation for Luton Town. This time it's a Brentford error, Jan out the guilty party. Berry showed good composure to skip around Flecken and steer in. No more than a consolation, although, worth remembering, goal difference could still be crucial come the final day. Luton 1, Brentford 5. What a performance by Stoke City, John Akers. It's 3-0 with almost the last kick of the game. It's a brilliant finish off the bench from Berger with his left foot from the centre of the goal keeper no chance Stoke City on to 50 points it's Stoke 3 Plymouth 0 full time at Leighton Orient Fleetwood Town ritual for Dunn a 1-0 win but in the end Fleetwood Town are going down there was few goals in this but there was lots of good chances Orient with a better side with Dan Adji and Shad Fords coming to nothing Ryan Broom had a great volley saved by Middlesbrough Loney Solomon Brin but in injury time Xavier Simon scored to secure the win but it's not enough to save them their time in this division is over Fleetwood will be playing League 2 football next season. The final score is Orient nil, Fleetwood 1. And full-time in League 2, Sutton United, Crawley Town, Chris Wise. Uh, not full-time. Well done, Vincent Company, to League 1, Cheltenham Town, Lincoln City, Nikesh Ugani. Yeah, where it finished, Cheltenham 1, Lincoln 2, a huge result at both ends of the table. Lincoln's playoff hopes still alive. They're in the top six now on goal difference with a game left to play. And that after coming back from behind today, thanks to goals from Joe Taylor and Freddie Draper after a Liam Serkin penalty put Cheltenham in front. Cheltenham just running out of steam in that second half they came into the day just two points from safety behind Burton who had played a game more they've still got that game in hand over Burton but that gap is now five points meaning survival no longer in their own hands it finished Cheltenham 1 Lincoln 2 Let's go to the bet 365. John Akers. What a win for Stoke City as Stephen Schumacher goes to the booth and end. He might well have just kept Stoke City.